how do we pair this thing? It is very simple. Uh, first of all, we need to download the app from the App Store hmm. or from Google Play if it's an Android device. So app looks something like this. Very simply, we have to just open the app and it will open the home page like this. Hmm. We have to go here, we have to open the notebook and we have to click this button to pair. It will show the notebook uh, that it is in the proximity. You have to collect, uh, click on this and you have to start, say pairing notebook. As soon as you will see a signal which will tell you to press this button over here which is turning green. So once you press it, it is paired. Very simple. So now that you press this button again, it will open the first page. The page has opened on the app. Very simple. So see here, if I press this button here, it will open a new page on the app. So now this page is just like that and it is coming on the app straight away. So I can very simply, whatever I'll write, note plus So as you can see, it has just come straight away on the app and which can be shared very easily. It is very easy to share. I'll show you how. So we just go back. We just hit the button here, share. We just convert it to the format we want, whether we want a GIF, JPG or PNG. So say for example, we choose JPG format. So we just, we can save it or we can just press more. It will give us all the options. Say for example, I want to share it with Mr. Alok on WhatsApp. I'll just press this. It's very simple and I'll just hit share. It's just sent straight away. If you want to share it on mail this time or on Teams, very simple again. Just hit the same button again. Convert it again to JPG. Press more. You'll get all the options. So if you want to do it on Teams, press Teams. You can go here wherever you want to do, you want to share it on channel or to a specific person, you can go select it. You can just type in the name, say for example, summer camp. So you can see the channel has come, so we can just click on it and you can just press send. So it will be sent on the entire channel. Similarly, you can send it to a specific person as well. If you want to mail it to your teacher, if you want to mail it to your friend, if you want to mail it to yourself, very simply, you can go again to JPG you can you can press that that go to mail very simply just do this type in to who like say for example to mr alok and i'll just press send dps okay uh, now just in case if i don't have my phone with me at that point of time then where will my work go it is very simple uh, this notebook this smart notebook has a very good feature it has got a memory of 50 pages wow so even if the notebook is not connected to any app or any mobile at that time, this notebook will have a memory of 50 pages to store 50 pages offline. So what I have to do is I just have to press this button that will open a new page altogether. Hmm. And I have to just start writing on it. So say for example, if I say number one, then on the next page, for the next page, I have to again press this button. Then I say, number two. So very simply now, these two pages will be stored offline. Okay. In the memory of this pad. And okay. as soon as I connect this to the phone, hmm. to the app, right. we can import the same. I will show you how to do it now. So now you can see that in front of you I wrote page number one and page number two over here. So now if I connect the notebook to the app, it will show me that there are two offline pages that needs to be imported. So, so say for example, I go again to the pairing of the notebook. So I press there, I select the notebook and I start pairing. So, and as soon as I'll click the green button here, it will show me that there are three offline pages that need to be imported. So now if I go here and press on this button, it will show me a feature of sync now. And as soon as I press sync now, it will start importing the pages. So it has 
it has now imported the three, the, the three pages, one from before and two from here. So you can see that page number one, page number two, both are here. So page number one, which is this one. And page number two, which is this one. So just like this, it has got a memory of around 50 pages that can be uploaded onto the app at any time. Okay. So why don't you uh, just solve a math problem for me? So now as you can see, we've got a math problem solved. So this feature is called the review feature. Wherein, if I go back and if I just press review, the entire math problem or any work which is done on this uh, app or on the, on the notebook will come step by step, which makes it a very powerful tool to review any of the work, may it be the biology diagrams or may it be the physics numericals or may it be the elementary problems or may it be any sketch you are making anything. It can be kept this video is very useful for later on to again understand how we got to the result i'll tell you about one more very interesting feature of it so you can tag all the documents say for example you are working on different subjects at the same time on different chapters at the same time you can tag them like say for example here if you can see there is a thing called tags so if i open this like i tag it under demo, under biology, under Arabic. So I've got all my notes here. So you can see, you can tag all the pages and it will come all together. Just like if I open Arabic, I can just see all my pages there, all together. So it becomes really easy for us to document all the documents and keep them for a longer time with us forever. Thanks. So I'll explain you a very good feature. If you could just write something for us write something in English, though it can understand up to nine languages like French, German, English. But yes, let's say for example, if we write something in English, I'll show you how it can recognize it and convert it into digital text at the same time. Can you please give us something? So now as you can see that we have something on health and safety so if we go back on it and if we hit and if I hit the recognize tool which is on the left bottom corner it will convert what we have written into digital text like health and safety norms sanitize hands wear a mask social distancing we can very easily copy it we can save it we can share it. I will tell you about one more incredible option it gives to us while we are taking the notes. Say for example, if we are writing in our normal writing and we are having one stroke size, we can change the stroke size. Say for example, if you want to write an heading and you want to write it a little thick, then we can increase the stroke size and it will give us a thicker line. We can change the color of the line. Say for example, if you are writing a heading again, you want to make it bold in red color then we can write we can we can write in red color we can change the pen type even we have got highlighter we've got pencil we have got pen we can even change the background of it background of the page say for example in terms of when we are doing maths we want checks we can have checks we can have dots if we are doing a graph we can have lines if we are writing something in hindi in english in anything in any other language it's a very good feature to help us record the way we want to record it. Screen mirror whatever you are doing on the notebook at the same time on your laptop screen or iPad screen or anywhere. So see whatever I am writing on it. At the same time coming on the computer screen which makes it a very powerful tool in terms of doing revision or in terms of teaching or anything like that. So here I'll show you 
how we can edit the documents that we note. So once we share the documents with ourselves, this tool gives us a very great feature of editing them. Any document that we receive that has been um, uh, done on the notepad can be very easily opened on Paint, which is a very basic software, and it can be very easily be edited, even using a stylus pen, anything. And it is like a proper document, it is not like a picture that comes. So say for example, if I want to erase it, I can very simply go here and erase it. So it will just erase what we have written on it. It will not erase the page. Page is as it is. If we want to write something on it, very easily we can write. Whatever we want to do, we can do. We can keep it, edit it, and then very easily share with anybody, which makes it a very powerful tool.